Hello and welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video we will be looking at what is spiral divergence, why it happens in an aircraft, and how it is prevented. First, let's understand what is spiral divergence. Spiral divergence is also known as spiral instability. When an aircraft enters a spiral divergence, it initially experiences a slight roll or bank towards one side. If this is not corrected, the bank angle increases, causing the aircraft to turn more steeply. The aircraft speed will increase, the roll becomes steeper, and the turn becomes tighter. This situation can become worse, and the aircraft may enter a steep spiral dive. Why does a spiral divergence happen? A spiral divergence happens if an aircraft has strong directional stability and weak lateral stability. Directional stability refers to an aircraft's ability to maintain a particular direction or heading after a disturbance. Lateral stability refers to an aircraft's tendency to roll back or bank to its original attitude after a disturbance. Let's see how a spiral divergence happens. How does a spiral divergence happen? Let's consider an aircraft in flight which is subject to a wind disturbance from the right of the aircraft. This disturbance causes the aircraft to yaw towards the left. The right wing moves faster than the left wing during the yaw, which causes the lift to increase. This causes the aircraft to roll towards the left. Since this aircraft has a strong directional stability, the aircraft will try to turn to its original heading. However, since the lateral stability is weak, the aircraft will start banking further towards the left. The yaw stability will cause the aircraft to turn towards the relative wind direction. This causes the bank angle to continuously increase towards the left and the turn starts to become tighter. This also means that the aircraft will start losing altitude. How to come out of a spiral divergence? To come out of this instability, careful movement of the control surfaces is required, especially when the roll has become too steep. Sudden movements of the control surfaces can lead to structural damage. Reduce throttle. The first step is to reduce the speed of the aircraft by reducing the throttle. Wings level. This is done using the ailerons to stop the rolling motion. Counteract yaw. Apply opposite rudder inputs to counteract the yawing motion. Pull up. A gentle pull up using the elevator is to be done after the wings are level and yaw has stopped. How to prevent spiral divergence? To prevent spiral divergence, an aircraft should have sufficient lateral stability and directional stability. Lateral stability is achieved by designing dihedral wings. Directional stability is achieved using a larger vertical stabilizer. Differential ailerons, which will level out the wings after a disturbance, may also be installed in the aircraft. That's all for my video on the spiral divergence. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.